because the platform is on the way. Gordon! Oh, shit! Gordon shoot. fell asleep, the platform shoot. is You, so, you gotta get your burger you on finished? the platform, yeah, finally! Okay, sorry, okay, finally! Welcome to the Next Level Kitchen Room. We are taking your skills to the next level by teaching you the amazing basic tips, great tricks, and skills to really elevate your cooking. That's right, and today we're doing a dish that I think everyone is familiar with, the burger. Uh, trust me, these are three major proteins. You've got the beef, the chicken, and the turkey. In fact, that turkey burger reminds me of the last time I was in your restaurant, and it was exceptional. Oh, I'm glad you said that, because everyone was terrified cooking for you. <laughs> so first off is the beef. This is an Angus ground beef, and it's an 80-20 split. What does that mean? It's 80% beef and 20% fat. Over to here, this is a, a ground chicken fast, and it's made with the thighs, the drums, and a little bit of the breast. These white bits here are the fat, which is crucial, and then, one of the most popular today, the turkey burger. Again, legs, thighs, and the breast, and a great content of fat. Yeah, super popular, but also hard to cook because it's so lean. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, young man? Let's go. Yeah. May the best All right. burger win. Oh my gosh, it's competition again. I'm gonna do a smash burger, okay? The essence of these burgers is the quickness. Let me tell you that. Why? Because it's relevant today, and every top chef in the country are making smash burgers. Why? You get these amazing sort of thin patties. And it's sort of just above a sort of a golf ball size. And then you roll them, and then from there, you smash them in the pan. Richard, what are you doing? Oh man, listen, so I'm doing a turkey burger. And again, turkey, the trick with turkey, the trick with turkey is that it's super lean. So I'm gonna actually season the ground meat before I start cooking it. I'm, and I'm gonna make an uh, Asian-inspired burger. So I'm gonna add some of my favorite uh, Asian ingredients, a little bit of sesame oil to the ground turkey. Again, this is 99% lean, so I want a little bit of fat and a little bit more flavor in there. I'm gonna add a little fish sauce, don't be afraid of fish sauce, people think, oh, it's gonna taste fishy. It just gives you a little bit of umami. Umami is the flavor that makes your mouth water, and it's prevalent in so many different cuisines that we love. Of course, I'm gonna add some salt. I'm always seasoning from up high so that my salt gets all in whatever I'm seasoning. I'm gonna add a little black pepper, and again, continue along the Asian vibe here. I'm love gonna that. add some chopped green onions, some scallions, and then I'm gonna grate in ginger and garlic. So I have my grater, love I'm that. just gonna add that right there, get a little bit of uh, garlic into my mixture and a little bit of ginger root. Ginger and garlic work so well together. As a matter of fact, any Asian dish usually starts with ginger, garlic, and scallion. I got that in there. I'm gonna mix it up. What are you doing over here, Gordon? Okay, so these smash burgers, as you've seen, okay, these are literally cooked with about three or four minutes. But the secret behind here is getting this beef flat. So I've got my press, I've lightly oiled it, I've seasoned it, I've got my little pate. Nothing smashed yet, and I'll show you why. Into the pan, and now we're gonna smash them, okay? Basically, we're gonna smash them, and we're gonna press down, so on with the first one, and just leave that on there for about 10 seconds to go nice and thin. But watch what happens, okay? Lift that off, and look, that burger is smashed in the pan, and that's where the original smash burger comes from. Again, in, nice and hot, and just push down. So the whole cooking sequence takes place twice as quick, but what we do get is the most amazing flavor of these burgers. Now, thin and crispy, okay? So it's a quick cook. Richard, how are you cooking yours? I, I love that, because you also got two patties. You're gonna get twice of what's called the Maillard reaction, Sorry. or the browning of proteins. It's gonna be twice as delicious. I'm not gonna smash mine, but I have to be really careful because turkey can dry out very, very quick. So what I've sure. done is I've turned my turkey into these patties. Now here's a little weird thing for me. I like to make the patty wider than the bun it's gonna be on because that lean meat is gonna shrink a little bit. So I want to have my burger sort of encompass the whole circumference of the bun. So I have my turkey patties. Now it's time to cook. Here's a tip I like with any burger as well is I take a tiny little knife and I poke holes inside of the ground meat so that it doesn't turn into a meatball. Meatball and burgers are related, but they're not the same thing. That's gonna let air flow uh, through the burger. Love and then I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna cook my, my uh, turkey burger over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of cooking oil in a pan. You wanna make sure that your pan is nice and hot but maybe not as hot as it is when you're cooking red meat, right? When I'm cooking poultry or seafood, a little less hot, and then real simple, just like Gordon's, it sounded so good over there. I'm gonna take my burger and then just finally not talk. Finally not talking, just do a little burger ASMR. So, 
Look at that. That is where that crispiness comes from. And what I'm going to do now is just literally press them down again to get them even flatter. And what this does, it pushes a little bit of the juice out, but it then starts to flavor the outside of that burger, OK? It's a heavy, heavy, heavy press. And that's where that crispiness comes from. Now from there, I take, from there, I take the gas off, turn it off, and just literally let them sit there. Now, I'm going to layer this up with a, a little bit of a twist because I love cheese on my burger, OK? And I get my big slice of cheese, I put it into the pan, OK? You see that cheese melt very, very quickly. And what I want to do now is get a little bit of sort of salt going in that cheese. We're going to caramelise that cheese and stick the base of the bun on top of the cheese. For the sauce, this is beautiful, OK? I've got a tablespoon of mayonnaise, a nice teaspoon of hot sauce. And look at that cheese melt now, Richard. So that's going to caramelise, get crispy. I'm going to stick my bun on top of it, OK? So you get, like, triple texture going on here. You got all these textures working, which is absolutely fantastic. Awesome. I love that burger sauce. I'm going lean and mean. I don't have all these sauces. I'm just making a slaw over here. Uh, and right now I have some cabbage shredded up, beautifully shredded cabbage. I got some green apples, and I'm going to make a quick slaw. Uh, so I'm going to start it just right in this pan with a little bit of sriracha. I'm gonna, I want some flavor in this turkey because it's so lean. So I have sriracha. I have mayonnaise. By the way, Gordon, I have this recipe where I add sriracha to ranch dressing. Do you like ranch dressing? I love ranch dressing. I love ranch dressing. When I add sriracha to ranch, I call it sriracha. I love that. Love that. <laughs> now, I've got some gherkins going in my mayonnaise, but watch this. OK, I've got the hot sauce, the mayonnaise, Worcester sauce in there as well. Just check my cheese out just for 10 seconds. Look at it. It's sort of it's going gooey, it's caramelizing. And this is where the magic starts. This is where our burgers start to go next level. Take your bun very carefully and stick that onto the cheese and just literally mop up that cheese. And look what's happening to that base of the burger. Watch. Richard, please, because this, this is going to go crazy. I don't mind you using this, OK? I'm totally stealing this. I don't this... mind you using it. Watch. Okay. And look, a beautiful melted cheese on that base. I'm going to toast the top because I want that texture in there. I want the egg fried beautifully. Before that egg comes out of the pan, you've got to season that, OK? Salt and a touch of pepper. And then from there, put a little bit of butter in that egg so it starts to get it crispy. A raw egg in a burger, not good. A crispy egg in a burger is where you want to go. But just, just, just fill my bun. Oh my God, I mean, so on, much seriously. texture. Honestly, so I swear texture. to God. Did that... you just say feel your bun? No, okay. bun, bun, oh, bun, 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 bun. Got it, okay. Bun. Now my top, look at the top. I mean, beautiful. Come on, bingo, right there. I've never seen that before. That's, I, that's I, impressive. I know this is going to San Diego. This I is, know, I know. This is one of those moments on we Next share. Level Chef where you're like, am I going home? We share. Like, I might be going home now. We share, we share, we share, we share. Right, a beef tomato. Just for that sweetness, I like these big, chunky beef tomatoes because it's the actual size of my bun. Again, a little season. From there, I never put white onion on a burger. I much prefer the red onion. It's less bitter and so much easier after you've eaten it. You haven't got the onion breath, OK? Right, young man, are we ready for some next level plating? I think so. Well, you're ready for plating. I still got to make a slaw over here. So First, I got my turkey burger. It's flipped over. Again, I want this Asian theme, so I'm just going to smash a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic. I'm going to throw that in the pan with the turkey burger that I just flipped. And now I'm going to throw in some whole butter, right? Because again, the turkey is so lean. I'm not going to eat all of this butter. I'm just going to baste the turkey with it. Uh, and here we go. We're going to baste this, get this going. That's a fork. Should I start That's not plating while you finish that off? Yeah, you can, you can go. Go ahead. You're, you're, you're ahead. You're ahead. I had the simple turkey burger. <laughs> Next level burger. Watch carefully. Take my base, the crispy cheese base. From there, a little touch of that special sauce with those gherkins. Next, from there, I've got my sliced tomato. A little touch of seasoning. And here's where the magic starts. First of all, my first pate goes on. I'm going to flip my egg, and then the egg goes on top. Egg, nice and crispy, on top. Now, just look at those elements. Hear me out, we're not done. From there, I go on with my next burger, the thin, crusty, beautiful pate. Onions on, 
and just a touch of that sauce. And there you go. I promise you, I kid you not, you can go all over the world for a beautiful burger, but this here is a next level burger coming to a kitchen near you soon. Yours, if you follow me. Turkey burger? How Turkey burger, we're almost done, okay? So I got my sriracha, I got my mayonnaise. Do you need some help? No, no I'm good, I'm okay, good, okay. Gordon. I'm just, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in awe over there. You're going next level, multiple things. Here we go, we got our slaw. I'm just gonna toss this around again. Red cabbage, uh, green cabbage, all these fresh flavors. I'm gonna throw in some of these apples and I'm ready to plate, Gordon. You're plated already. Oh my I, I, gosh, I, I, you're already I, done. That, Is I'm, the platform coming? I am Is, <laughs> is the platform on the way? Here we go. <laughs> Listen, I'm not toasting my bun because my meat is cooked beautifully. Let's get this going right here. We I'm got some cilantro. Can I do anything? No, we got it. Listen, I'm good, I'm good. Just, just let me know when that platform's there. Here we go, a little bed of the cilantro. Turkey burger's going right on top. Time for that slaw. Super fresh, super healthy. There we go, we'll go lots and lots of slaw. Keep it nice and messy, lots, really delicious. Serve it open-faced because the platform is on the way. Gordon! Oh, Gordon fell asleep. The platform is so, here. You gotta you, get your burger on you the finished? platform yet. Yeah, okay, finally. sorry. Okay, sorry. Finally, sorry. here it is, right next to yours. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know. I was late, but they both look delicious. Now, to get the ingredients and more details on the fabulous recipes from tonight's cook-off, please check the description below and be sure to subscribe for more episodes of Next Level Kitchen with this genius. Great job. So good, so good, let's eat.